Yo, what's up guys? Tyler W here, and today I'm here to teach you the Vortex Whistle, the Azel Whistle, the Botica Whistle, and it sounds like... Now I'm here. Tyler W. Beatbox Channel. Now I think this is a rather unique sound that you actually don't hear many beatboxers doing, but the reason why I called it, you know, the Azel whistle or Batika whistle is because those are some more known beatboxers who utilize the sound. So I've been holding off on doing a tutorial for this sound, even though it's really requested, mainly because I didn't really have a name for it, and I still don't have a name for it, but I'm just going to go forth and call it the Vortex whistle or the Azel whistle or Batika whistle, you know, just because I want to get this tutorial out there. Now I've been doing this sound since I've started beatboxing about six years ago or seven years ago at this point, and you know it's a really unique sound that you can work into your beats, you know, to add a little flavor to them. Now honestly, I feel like this sound can be rather difficult to learn, mainly because it is a whistle, and I know that whistles are, to me, are more difficult to learn than other sounds. Um, so just keep that in your mind when you're going about trying to learn the sound. So to teach this sound, I'm going to break it down into three steps. So the first step to getting down this sound is going to be doing what I like to call a backspin roll. Now it's not the official name. And there is really no name for it that I know of, so I'm just gonna kind of call it that. Now I don't have a tutorial on this sound already, so I'm gonna go ahead and break it down in this tutorial, and if I ever actually come up with a tutorial for the backspin roll, I'll have a link for it somewhere in the description below. First, what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep your tongue flat to the roof of your mouth. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna breathe in, and when you breathe in, you're gonna wanna force the air to go between your tongue and the roof of your mouth. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the air in near the front side of your mouth, and you can choose that side of your mouth so Imagine this tip of your tongue, you're gonna breathe the air in through here and you're gonna let your tongue flop. Now keep in mind, the side of your tongue that you're gonna breathe in on may be changed, you know, depending on what you have to do in step three. So maybe skip ahead to step three, maybe I'll include a timestamp in the description below just to see what I'm gonna say there, but just keep that in mind, keep it noted. Part three to learn the backspin roll is you're going to keep your tongue loose and relaxed so that when you breathe in, it's gonna hit the top of your mouth and create the sound. And it sounds a little bit like so after you got step one, it can do the backspin roll, you're gonna move on to step two. Step two is that you're going to bring your jaw to a certain side of your mouth, and you can choose either side. I go on the same side that I do my lip rolls, which is my left. And what you're gonna do is when you drag your jaw to that side, you're gonna bring your bottom lip out, and so that it creates a gap between your top and your bottom lip. And it's gonna look like now the main focus of this step is that when you drag your jaw to one side of your mouth, your bottom lip is going to come out far enough that it creates a gap for air to travel between your bottom lip and top lip, and it's going to do something like this. So after you can create that gap, what you're going to do is then do a backspin roll, allowing air in to come on that certain side of your tongue on the same side as here. So if I'm dragging my jaw to my left side and creating that gap on my left side, I'm going to want the air to travel in with the backspin roll on the left side. and so. Drag it over, do a backspin roll, and then do it all together. Now for a few of you, you guys may get the sound and the whistle down perfectly on the first try, but I can promise that it's actually a difficult thing to get the whistle down, so do not get discouraged. Keep practicing and using the sound, tweaking your mouth positioning to get the whistle, because for me, whistles are rather difficult, and so don't get discouraged on that. So one more thing that I actually want to say about the sound is that it can be combo with like inward bass or inward vocals, you know, and be layered over top of it like... Or <laughs> and so you can do that and you can experiment with the sound, you know, in a couple different ways. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys learn the Vortex whistle, the Azel whistle, the Batico whistle, you know, the whistle that really doesn't have an official name to it. If you guys have any questions, please comment down in the comment section below and I will try to answer those as I always do. Like this video if it helped you or if you just like the video in general. Share this video with anybody else who would like to learn the sound. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And you know what? As I always say, what I want you to take home every night night is have a good day. <laughs>